can't believe that. That's the vision that we share. That's the change that we believed in. And we knew it wasn't going to come easy. We knew it wouldn't come quickly. But we had confidence, we had faith in each other. We believe that when Americans make commitments to each other about a bold, generous vision for the country, that we can achieve it. There's no challenge we can't overcome. And here, here's, here's what I want to report. That in three years, because of what so many of you did in 2008, we've begun to see what change looks like. Yeah. We've begun to see what change looks like. Change is the first bill I signed into law. A law that says women deserve an equal day's pay for an equal day's work. And I want our daughters treated just like our sons. Change is the decision we made to rescue an auto industry that was on the verge of collapse, even when some said, let's de let Detroit go bankrupt. One million jobs were at stake, so we weren't going to let that happen. And today GM is back on top as the world's number one automaker, reported the highest profits in 100 years, 200,000 new jobs over the last two and a half years. The American auto industry is back and it's making cars that are more fuel efficient, so that's helping the environment even as we're putting people to work. Change is the decision we, we made to stop waiting for Congress to do something about our oil addiction. That's why we finally raised our fuel efficiency standards. By the middle of the next decade, we will be driving American-made cars that get almost 55 miles to a gallon. Wow. Saves the typical family more than $8,000 at the pump. That's what change is. Change is the fight we won to stop handing $60 billion in taxpayer giveaways to the banks who are processing student loans, we decided let's give those student loans directly to students, which meant we could make college more affordable to young people who need it. That's what changes. That happened because of you. And yes, change is the health care reform that we passed after over a century of trial. will finally ensure that in the United States of America, no one will go broke just because they get sick. Already, already 2.5 million young people now have health insurance who didn't have it before because this law lets them stay on their parents' plan. Already, millions of seniors are paying less for their prescription drugs because of this law. Already, Americans can't be denied or dropped by their insurance companies when they need care the most. Already, they're getting preventive care that they didn't have before. That's happening right now. Change is the fact that, for the first time in history, you don't have to hide who you love in order to serve the country you love, because we end up going to ask, don't tell. Change is the fact that for the first time in nine years, there are no Americans fighting in Iraq. our efforts on the terrorists who actually attacked us on 9-11. And thanks to the brave men and women in uniform, Al-Qaeda is weaker than it's ever been. Osama bin Laden is no more. We've begun to transition in Afghanistan to put them in the lead and start bringing our troops home from Afghanistan. 
That's what change is. Now, none of this has been easy. We've had a little resistance from the other side. <laughs> We've got more work to do. There's still too many Americans who are out there looking for work. There's still too many families who can barely afford to pay the bills or make the mortgage. We're still recovering from the worst economic storm in generations. Love you back. <laughs> but, but, But over the past two years, over the past two years, businesses have added nearly four million new jobs. Our manufacturers are creating jobs for the first time since the 1990s. Our economy is getting stronger, the recovery is accelerating, all of which means the last thing we can afford to do is to go back to the same policies that got us into the mess in the first place. That's what the other side wants to do. They make no secret about it. They want to go back to the days where Wall Street played by its own rules. They want to go back to the day when insurance companies could do whatever they wanted to. They want to go back to the days where they, they want to continue to spend trillions of dollars on tax breaks for the wealthiest individuals in America, even if it means adding to the deficit, or gutting education, or gutting investments in clean energy, or hurting Medicare. Their philosophy is simple. You are on your own. You're on your own. It, you know, if, if uh, you're out of work, can't find a job, tough luck. You're on your own. If you don't have health care, that's your problem. You're on your own. If you're if you're born into poverty, lift yourself up out of your own with your own bootstraps, even if you don't have boots. <laughs> you're on your own. They they believe that's their that, that, that's how America has advanced. That's the cramped, narrow conception they have of liberty. And they are wrong. <laughs>